I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple O. G! You already know what's up. Started from the ground up. Your boy just got back from vacation. I was in Orlando with the family. Did a couple sneaker vlogs in a few places. Uh, one of the places that I did do, I know that I want to show you guys, is Trophy Room. Dude, it'd be quiet all day. Then all of a sudden. So, anyway. Like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, the vlog that I did do was at Trophy Room in Orlando. I was down there with my family, so I went to Trophy Room, I did that. Next month I will be going back down to Florida, but I will be in Miami. Please leave a comment below of what sneaker spot you think I should do a review on while I'm in Miami, and I definitely will be picking up some fire when I'm down there. Uh, later on, I will give you guys that review of Trophy Room. But before we go any further, I need you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the hell out of that notification bell so I can continue to give you that fire that you me. Boom! As you can tell by the box, you already know what this is. If you don't know what this is, your boy got that Michigan 12 PE, and I already know what you're thinking. But but it ain't the it ain't the PSNY version though. It ain't the PSI PSNY version though. You know something? You're absolutely right. It absolutely is not the PSNY version. I got the regular version that came out. Um, didn't have the opportunity to get my hands on that version. But I've held a PSMY 12 in my hand, and I will say that the quality on these is the same, bro. It's the same. But anyway, let's go ahead, get up close and personal with this shoe. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Let's get it. Let's get straight into that box. We got this nice box. This box should be put into production for like everything that's coming out, man. I like when Jordan Brand gives us another box. Anyway, let's look at that style code. We got that Air Jordan 12 Michigan NRG, uh, R to R, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what R to R stands for. Um, so we got the front, got the cards on there, all those iconic Michael Jordan photos, right? Boom, boom. Yeah, so that's the box. Now, I never really showed you guys the box, but this box is something to show, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Boom. So we got it covered inside that black paper. This pair I did pick up from 23 South State. Yellow on the bottom. Ooh, lemonade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Jordan on, I guess that's the left shoe. Mm-hmm. Back tab doesn't have that yellow like the PSNY version, but as you can see, look at the suede. Oh, wow, look at that. Again, some flaws with Jordan Brand, y'all. Again, with some flaws, but anyway. Nice. What the hell? This is my first time taking it out the, the box, bro. Like, uh, all right, let's get to the other shoe. Got that Michigan Wolverine on the other shoe. Oh, yeah. I'm still rocking with these. These smell premium inside the shoe. Looks like it's yellow, you know, with that blue, Michigan yellow with that blue. Drug man in the inside, got that stick on it with the size on there. These are eight and a half. I got these in eight and a half because these run a little bit big. I'm getting to the shoot out. Fire, right? Fire, 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 fire. So you got that blue pretty much wrapped around, blue suede wrapped all the way around the shoe. Um, you guys, closer look. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see that. If you ever held an OVO 12, an OVO, yeah, OVO 12 in your hand, that's what I would compare this suede to. Got that Michigan yellow right there for the M. Got that yellow hits with the Jumpman on there. On the shoe strings, they do say Jumpman, and I would get a phone call. I just keep getting interrupted today. Hold on, guys. Goddamn telemarketers, man. I just gotta figure out how to get my fucking number off this shit. Anyway, so I think I was here. Uh, we got Jumpman on the shoe strings. You know, um, that 23 on the back, like I said, it doesn't have that yellow like here, like the PSNY version. It does have this yellow here on the tab that is like plastic here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, yellow 23 on the back, carbon fiber underneath, hair and bone, that yellow eliminated at the bottom. The yellow jump man at the toe, 23, obviously. So if you've seen a Jordan 12, this ain't gonna be no different. 
but the material. So the material is really similar to all the other PSNYs. And like I said, it's just like that suede that's on the black hair of the OVO 12, which I do have in my collection. Let me grab those. There we go. So these are like, obviously we know these are the OVO 12s, but it's that same type of material. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you're going to wear them, you know, I'm not sure how that blue is going to hold up. As far as like getting wet and stuff, I guess I probably will spray some of that. What is it? That water repellent. I think they uh, shoven it, rejuvenator, crap attack. They got all of that. You know what I mean? Hey, now that I'm looking at these shoes side by side, you know, like I said, the materials are similar. Obviously, this is the only thing that's really different. But it would have been dope if OVO would have put the owl on this, on the toe. Maybe on both toes, take the jump man off and had that gold owl on there. That would have been fresh. You know what I'm saying? Just something to think about. But anyway, the materials are the same. Uh, you definitely don't want to get this wet. You know what I mean? You definitely don't, don't want to get it wet. And I can say that now because they're starting to bleed already. And I just bought the shoe. I'm going to show you proof of that. Hold on. Let me do something real fast. And as you can see, you guys see that? You see that blue there? You got blue there. You got that blue there. Now, the shoes have only been inside of a box. They have not been worn. You know what I mean? So you definitely know they will bleed. So if you have a nice pair of, like, you know, jeans or whatever, they definitely will bleed on your jeans. Um, and if they get wet, they're definitely gonna get horrible. Now, cleaning these type of shoes is really difficult. I remember I, I messed up my OVOs. I can show you guys that. I tried to clean them because I was at a barbecue and somebody um, spilled like some spaghetti, like a pasta. It hit and I thought I could just put a little water on there. It like totally destroyed that. And that's on my left shoe. So, you know, be careful with that. Be very careful with these shoes. This is not like an everyday wear shoe. And you know I me, mean, I definitely promote wearing those kicks. But I'm going to give you guys that fire on feet that you've been waiting for. Let's get it. It's that shit that make you feel like you can levitate. Every king needs his theme music. Let that bass work. Take your time with it. See, patience is a virtue. And I've been as patient as I can be. See, in the midst of the chaos and confusion, the lust for the fame and the glory, some of you don't lost focus. I'm disappointed. I burn a hundred thousand just for my enjoyment. Y'all niggas need to call me, come get some employment I work way too hard to let a bitch destroy it Y'all niggas out here slipping, I'm disappointed The shit you rockin', the cheeks you knockin' I'm disappointed Niggas watchin' up in his pockets I'm disappointed Remember that a real nigga told you I'm disappointed You disregarded the shit I showed nigga, you Nigga, I'm, I'm disappointed. disappointed My niggas follow a code of ethics with loaded weapons Watch it So Tell me what you guys thinking, man. How did you guys like that on feet? You know what I mean? I'm trying to get better with these on feet. Hopefully, I can come up with some uh, newer ideas so I can make those better. But what you guys think? Do you think this is all hype? You know, this is not the PSMY version. Or is it like a shoe that you don't need to have in your collection? You know, we got that Michigan on there. You know, I don't know. Like, so the one thing about, like, the I guess the University of Michigan, I didn't go to that college. I didn't go to a college, actually. I didn't go to the University of Michigan. But... You know what I mean? If I did go to college, this probably would be the college that I would go to. Not because I had the shoe in my hand, but more so because of Jalen Rose and pretty much the Fab five, five. You know, changing the game with those long shorts and black socks. Shout out to the socks that I was wearing inside the video. You know I had to represent the crib. Hold up. I got like three pairs of these. These are Joe Fresh Goods. He did a pop-up with um, McDonald's. Um, it was called like Mix by Sprite. You know, that's the mix. Anyway, he had a leather jacket or uh, a letterman's jacket that only five, they only made five, I think like, five, six, six, I think 20. They made 20 jackets, so some really exclusive stuff. Joe Fresh Goods, I'll link his Instagram down below. Yo, you gotta support the crib, especially if you want to that like, you know, fashion and like that new wave. But yeah, like so with the University of Michigan wearing those black socks, long shorts changing the game everybody wasn't wearing ball busters anymore they just changed everything the five five you know what i'm saying time out chris weber and everything but you know we're not gonna get into that you know um jalen rose is one of my favorite basketball players and he's like the best uh sports announcer to me so you know i gotta support the wolverines 
And I love Detroit. You, might, you know, you see the Detroit hat. Been wearing that like forever anyway. Yo, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, like the video if you get a chance. And let me know what y'all think. You know, should I keep this pair in my collection? Or should I just get rid of it? Holler at you guys next time. Peace. Got that trophy room footage coming soon. Let's go. No time soon.